Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans with StampingWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if you join me for the first time, welcome and welcome back to everyone else that has joined me. This is my um, regular Monday Live uh, where I come on at 11 o'clock Pacific time and I either do a fancy fold card or I do a 3D project. And today we're going to do another fancy fold um, project. And we're going to do, um, we're going to actually use a Halloween theme. I am I usually don't focus too much on Halloween, but oh my goodness, this No Bones or Them Bones suite is so dang adorable. So anyways, this is part of a live. So if you're watching this on replay and you notice that I have, I'm talking to different people, that's what I do on the live. I interact with the people that have joined me live. And if they may have some questions that you also have yourself. Also, another thing, um, like if you are watching on a replay, you don't like that sort of stuff, just scoot on forward and you can um, just um, watch what I'm I'm doing for my fancy fold card. So what I'm doing today is I'm doing a bay window card. And we like I say, we're going to use them bones. Um, make sure also if you're on YouTube that you've subscribed down below here and um, that will get you notifications immediately as soon as I do go live. So let me just switch on down to um, my tabletop here. It seems like I'm I'm all out of all out of um, focus today. I don't know exactly why. Hello, Betty. You weren't going to get this bundle and you changed your mind. You guys, it's really cute. I haven't really even done much stamping with it. Um, I, I, I'm I, using mainly the designer series paper on this particular card just for the fact that it just makes it um, so much easier for me. Um, I was just saying yesterday that I've never seen myself use so many different um, designer series paper. So I want to show you this suite and um, go through some of this stuff. Hello, Janet. This is, like I say, a suite. It has this adorable stamp set and dies. And um, they really are amazing. You do save 10% um, when you buy it as a bundle. And look at all these dies. There's actually... Ooh, my goodness, 31 different dies in here. They do cut out different DSP and they cut out all these images here as well. Another thing that goes with it is this, um, it's glow in the dark uh, embellishments. We're not gonna use those today because I um, I don't actually have something that I'm going to do it as a glow in the dark and there's glow in the dark paper as well. And I think the glow in the dark paper is a bit on, is on back order at this point right now, um, but it will be coming back. And also it has this designer series paper and this paper is so fun. Um, I actually, I've got to show you this one piece of paper. This gets cut out with um, the dies. You have the dog, you have the cat and the skeleton. So of course that's what I used um, today for my, or I'm using today for my card. Um, but it's a photopolymer stamp set. So it makes it really easy to play around with as well. Now think of it this way. You can actually take this skeleton apart and you can have it moving with the um, brads that we have as well. So I'm going to actually do an interactive card. As soon as I get my um, glow in the dark paper, I'm going to do something um, with this. And I think my grandsons would just love it. So, but also I want to show you some of these things in here. There's a, a bonjour. Um, which is like uh, the French. It has the hat. It has this. It has, check out this. It's It's got some really cute, there's the bonjour, um, a cowboy skeleton. They have a showman um, skeleton. It's just so fun. And um, like I say, the designer series paper is amazing as well. So like I say, we are doing um, a bay window card. So I picked out, I, of course I had to use these colors, right? Um, so I used um, pumpkin pie, basic black, and um, and on the back in a coordinating color to the designer series paper is this starry sky. Um, I love when you can have this blue with the orange or you could use gorgeous grape as well. And it does um, make some really cool Halloween cards. So I've got all these pieces cut, but I'm going to tell you how um, I go about making this card. 
This card is four and a quarter by 10 and a half inches. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to score this at five and a half inches, six and three quarter inches, eight and three quarter inches and 10 inches. So I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to make sure I've got a really good score on that. And oh my goodness, I haven't even been um, checking the um, who's on here. Hello, Margaret and Barb and Marjorie. You have the glow in the dark paper. I think I do too. Um, but I didn't want to go ahead and um, make anything with it yet until um, I it's available. So this is going to go as a mountain fold, mountain fold, mountain fold, and then a valley fold. So when I mean that, it, it looks like, see, mountain, mountain, and a valley. So that's going to go like this. And like I say, that's going to be like a bay window. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, decorating part of this. I'm going to put the basic black in the middle part here, but I'm going to, of course, I'm going to stamp it and emboss it so that it shows up on the black. I thought of putting white there, but I thought, ooh, it just doesn't quite go. So I have, um, I've cut this part of the designer series paper and it's the bat one. And I'm wondering which... I think it goes this way yes so this will be the first second and this will be the third piece as well so what i've done is i have cut these pieces one inch by four inch and then i wanted a tiny bit of um a black border on there so that it would show up on this designer series paper so i went and i cut this one eighth of an inch so this is four and one eighth by one and an eighth. And we're just gonna go ahead and glue that part on there. Hello, Felicia. Oh, you cased my bay window. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that plentiful plants one is the one that actually was a bay window with a bit of a twist, but thanks for remembering that. That one probably had one of my most views on all of my YouTube, that one, and just one I'd done recently, actually. Um, but I do appreciate that. So, but this bay window, I just want to show you that, you know, you don't have to go with plants or something pretty. You can do something that's kind of fun for kids, right? Or fun. Or if you have a person that just absolutely loves Halloween. And we all know some of those people, right? Now, this piece happens to be about, oh, geez, what size did I cut this? Let me just go and check three eighths of an inch and I've got this on a quarter inch um, piece here and I don't know if that's too big but I'm just going to put it on there and see you know what I'm going to do it because it's so hard to do thinner strips like that so I'm going to go ahead hello Michelle and Marie and all of you guys watching all of you guys the Creston people I'm so glad I got to meet you. And Claire as well. It's on your wish list, is it? Well, maybe this will really make sure that it gets bumped up your wish list. Um, I think the die, is it just the paper, the dies? You know what? I Honestly, I'm not quite sure what is um, available at this point. Um, one thing just went on there this morning and, you know, um, but just be patient, reach out to your demonstrator. They can let you know when it'll be available. So I'm just going to put this piece right here. Very subtle with the bats on it. And let's put this piece here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this will be going on a block hop. And oof, I know it's a Halloween one, so I'm not sure when it's going. <laughs> I usually do a lot of my cards that I do live on. I, I will make sure that they're on a blog so that you at least have the um, capability of going and watching it. Now, this one, I didn't go the extra little bit, and I probably should have gone. <coughs> now that I think of it, I probably should have cut this four and an eighth. But you know what? I'm okay. I'm going to leave it go like that. We're just going to put, this is four inches by 
one and three quarter inch piece. And then I did, oh, and this piece is gonna go here as well. What would we do without glue? So this is just gonna go up here. And like I say, this one's almost the size of that, that strip there, but you don't really see it, that one too much as well. All right, so then I went and I took that this designer series paper and I cut out a bunch of these images, the images in that corner there. And then I wasn't sure exactly which one I was gonna put on. Was I gonna put on this one? Maybe the white one would be good. This is kind of fun. And then we could put um, the white cat with it as well. Yeah, that one would be kind of fun. And then I thought that the dog could come over here to hold as the thing to hold it up. So um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna actually pop this part up and I'm gonna use my small dimensionals on here. So I do want it to be popped up in all over. I obviously have glue on my hands because everything's sticking. So, you know, I'm going to put this on the cat and then I'm going to just use some strips for the legs. That's what I like about these little ones because we can go in here and we can cut down strips off of here and use those to pop up our stuff here. going to go down here and then just put a little piece over here as well but imagine having it where it all I, I've got an idea what I want to do with this with the moving parts so we'll see how it turns out but I've got to play with it just a little bit more all right so I want this guy to go oops we want that trimmed off because we will see that because it is white it would have been great to put the black on there. Now, I'm thinking maybe orange would be good across there for a sentiment. I'm going to put this little cat down here, and then we're going to work around the skeleton. I want this guy just over here. And then we can take this guy. There we go. There we go. That's good. I'm going to actually have his foot go underneath. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness. Now, I had also gone ahead and I had cut out this fence. Now, when this goes on the inside, this fence is going to, I want it to pop up. But I need it to be on something that I can actually pop it up with. So... I'm going to regret doing this. Um, I'm thinking I'm only going to have part of the fence. And I'm going to have that fence part go behind there. Just so that I can pop that part up. And it's from behind and you don't see it. So I'm just... Let's go like that. And then let's just glue this part on here. And I'll cut it off. Because we need something to pop it up. Um, I could have tried putting this the um, strips on there, but by doing that, oh shoot, look at that. That wasn't very bright. I'm going to take that off and we're going to let that dry for a second. All right, so now what I need to do is, and I need to have some pumpkin pie is what I need. I probably don't have any strips in here and I don't. Let me just grab that piece that's...
Okay, I have a piece here, and I'm thinking to myself, I usually have scraps, but I don't have any of these scraps. When I went and redid all my um, drawers with the new colors and everything else, I went and I donated all my scraps to a school. So I'm going to think maybe three quarters of an inch is what's going to be needed. We'll see what happens there. All right. So my thought process is to go here and have a sentiment on there. And I'm going to see if I can do it in memento instead of doing with the black um, embossing powder. And my... so I was thinking there's no bones about it. You're a sweet friend. <clears throat> kind of a fun one and remember it is a photopolymer stamp set so you kind of want to have it where it's going to be let's see just gonna let it it's not the one I normally would use, but I'm going to try to ink this up and make sure that I can get this fairly black. If not, we're going to have to use our embossing powder. So I'm just going to let it set there for a second. Hello, Renee. I could stack them up. But honestly, it is not, um, I'm just telling you, it's not thick enough to stack up. I, I know that may sound a little strange, but it isn't thick enough. Um, if you have three or four of them, um, Barb, it's just not going to be enough for what kind of a, um, I, I need to have it standing up by and um, up by a certain amount. So I'm just going to actually cut this fence off there. And see this part here, when I put it up, I can pop it up with more dimensionals and it'll work a lot better. So I'm going to put this guy on here and we're going to pop him up as well. And if I was, yep, yeah, there we go. I'm going to use the black mini dimensionals on here in the back of the dog. And I'm thinking to myself, should I do two? But no, I think what I'll do is I'll just do this part. So this is just gonna go up here. And then on the back of this piece here, now this is why I'm saying that it wouldn't work with um, the extra layers of um, cardstock because you need this to be popped up a certain amount so that it's going to act as um, the stopper for because it's kind of like an easel card. So I'm double dimensionalizing it. Listen to us and all our words. We all know as crafters, right? Thanks, Renee. Yeah, yeah. All right, so like I say, that's going to give me that extra stopper there. And I don't need the full fence as well. All right, so I have this, no bones about it. We're good friends. This would have looked a lot better had I embossed it. I will tell you that right now. But it's okay. We're going to put it right up there. Okay, I'm going to come in with this. And you know what? These have been around for a while. So I'll just put that across there. And that can go right here. that. 
this is going to go in here, but we want to at least do our um, Happy Halloween with that. So I do have to emboss it. I could put it on on um, orange or the pumpkin pie, but I've decided I don't want that. So I've used my embossing buddy. The words are Happy Halloween. You know, it's going to be one of those this week that I go and there's so many things that I'm going to have packed away. So we're going to have to do an awful lot of substitution on um, different things. So I'm hoping that this is going to be big enough. We're thinking it will. I'm going to put that down again. Um, I've got stuff packed up for the retreat. And I've, I wasn't going to take some of my supplies. I am taking a lot of my supplies, but not every single bit. I mean, I don't have a U-Haul to take everything. So. so this is just going to go as Happy Halloween. And I, you know what, there's something else I'm going to put on here. No, I'm just going to leave it. And we're going to use our white embossing powder. I'm just going to come in here. I don't want this embossing powder all over the cardstock. So that's why I use a, a piece of um, cardstock to do that with the white embossing. And let's go ahead and heat set this. And then you'll see what I'm doing for the rest of the card. So if you go and you duplicate this card, which I hope you do, use something totally different. Um, and that's, you know, why I do these things is, you know, Create a card. That's what gets you creating cards. Right? All right. So let's put that in there. And by using something else, you're using your creativity, right? Let's do this. This is not what I started this morning to do. I was going to do another fancy fold. And... Um, I've got ideas for next week. How's that for when I get back? So see, this is going to go here. And by that going there, that's going to act as my stopper. I'm going to just put that there. Could have actually ended up with more of that fence there. Just like that. Yeah, I could have ended up with a little bit more of the fence. You know what? I'm going to do that because I think it'll work. Um, I can do it like a three-dimensional fence. What alert didn't you see? Oh, oh, a uh, uh, Facebook alert. Hmm. There we go. Um, uh, need to start embossing on your cards. You have all the supplies, but you don't use them. Well, I'm going to challenge you to use them. That's for sure, uh, Renee, because honestly, embossing is so fun. So see how I'm going to just add that back on there. That's going to add a bit of dimension to that. That kind of worked. And there we have it. Now. Like I say, there are glow-in-the-dark sort of um, embellishments that can go along with that um, that are bats and ghosts. Um, this is the essential um, classic matte dots that are still available in the, um, in the main catalog. So I'm just going to come in and let's just put some of those on here just like so. So we have the Happy Halloween there. There's our gatefold, I mean, our bay window card. Um, we could have used some more of these. Oh, these are so fun. Oh, my goodness. Like, amazing.
but this kind of gives us a bit of a window and there's our card there. Awesome. Now, just a few other things is remember um, part of my thank you that I've changed up is I am giving um, a package to make the waterfall card. This was the one that I showed that I was doing it. I have got my waterfall card done. So remember if you've spent um, a separate from any stamp camps or anything like that where you've spent over $65, you would qualify for a kit with this. It comes with a PDF how to make this. I'm going to be doing it live as well. Um, but it's you're also going to get a PDF that has using different samples from the annual catalog. Now, just a quick sneak peek on how to how that works. Here's the card that I'm actually doing that you're going to get in your kit. So anyways, that's part of the, the um, my new thank you. Ah, Facebook again. Very good. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much, Felicia. I really appreciate that. Anyways, what I'm going to do is we're just going to pop back up here. And tomorrow I will be back with a technique. I'm still debating about Wednesday, whether or not if I'm going to be doing my mystery challenge on Wednesday. And the reason being for that is um, I am packing up my room. So I'm packing up a bunch of stamp sets, my... Um, hopefully, hopefully I'm going to get um, my my order for the swag bags for the retreat. I'm so excited. I haven't done a retreat in about eight years. Um, I'm hoping they're going to have fun. This is a Stampin' Up! style um, type um, retreat where there's pillow gifts, might even be prize patrol, um, but a lot of lot of fun, a lot of creating, um, making takes, and I've got an add-on class, so there's lots of really good things here. Thank you, Jean. Awesome. All right, you guys. Remember to create. This is great for the soul. If you like that, give me the thumbs up. Share my video. I really do appreciate that. And if you do live in Canada and do not have a demonstrator, spend over $65 and I can give you um, a PDF on how to do a waterfall card using the beautiful autumn leaves. In any event, you guys, have a great day. Bye for now.